when we talk about the kynurenine pathway, the major products of the kynurenine pathway are, number one, as, at least in this list, these aren't prioritized, they're just listed here as they are produced. Anthranilic acid is one of the kynurenine metabolites. Let's focus on anthranilic acid. Anthranilic acid is elevated in schizophrenia, also a few other conditions that we'll look at in just a minute. So when we talk about the kynurenine pathway, we are mostly concerned, actually we're mostly concerned down here with quinolinic acid, but we're mostly concerned with these three metabolites in the kynurenine pathway. So tryptophan gets converted into kynurenine. Kynurenine gets converted into anthranilic acid. Again, elevated in schizophrenia and autism. Anthranilic acid, and then that feeds back into the kynurenine pathway. I'll show you that in just a minute. Another metabolite here is kynurenic acid. So tryptophan gets converted into kynurenine. Kynurenine gets converted into kynurenic acid. That's another pathway different from this pathway. Kynurenic acid is elevated in schizophrenia, bipolar disorder with psychotic features, and a few other conditions. So we want to lower anthranilic acid, we want to lower kynurenic acid, and we definitely want to lower quinolinic acid because quinolinic acid kills brain cells. This is very, very toxic. So anthranilic acid feeds into quinolinic acid, Kynurenic acid does not feed into quinolinic acid. It's a branch, it's a dead end branch off of the kynurenine, kynurenin, uh, sorry, uh, kynurenine uh, pathway. So again, tryptophan to kynurenine, kynurenine to anthranilic acid, also to kynurenic acid, and then ultimately kynurenine gets shuttled into quinolinic acid quinolinic acid is very, very toxic. We want to avoid quinolinic acid. So let me show you a pathway that will make all of this more clear. So this is the simple version of the pathway. We're only going to look at a few more pages, but this is one of the diagrams that I created to explain the fate of dietary tryptophan. So people consume tryptophan, for example, in dairy products, turkey, whey protein isolate, some of that tryptophan gets degraded within the gut by the enzyme tryptophanase and it gets converted into indole. Indole is mostly pretty toxic. 5% approximately, 5% of dietary tryptophan goes into this pathway to create serotonin, ultimately creates melatonin. This part of the pathway is actually rather slow. This part of the pathway is very fast. 